Outside of the market diner, waiting for their 57 cent breakfast special this morning. So we thank everybody that has come in. Special thanks to our friends at Money Federal Credit Union for presenting this is a very special podcast. Speaking of special, Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon joins us. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. So you, uh, you've been in the position for a while now. Is it everything you thought it would be? Yeah, you know, it's it's different. So, you know, you don't give it on credit to the position when you're a county legislator because uh, you think you know what the executive does and then you go over to the other building and you don't. So there's things that happen every day that you're just not on your calendar. You have to make split decisions. You have to uh, manage a lot of employees, a lot of different various issues uh, that happen. So it's different, but it's great. You get to drive an agenda. You get to, uh, if you have a vision, you get to try to implement it. And that's what we're trying to do right now. Is this the path you wanted to take? You know, in politics, it's funny. You always think that you want to do something and then you get into it. And uh, what I've learned is politics is all timing. And uh, you may one day think you want to go be a congressman, but then uh, later on, you know, you don't. And so for me, I always certainly had interest in the last few years in being the executive, and uh, we were interested in looking at it, and uh, here we are. Do you see yourself doing this for a while? Right now, I'm having fun, and I think we're getting some things done, so I certainly am going to ask the public for four years. Yeah, you're in a unique situation. You've only been in the office for a few months now, yep. and then now you got to turn around and uh, you know, kick off the campaign. Are, are you prepared to do it? We are, and we're starting laying out the infrastructure of our campaign team as well. Uh, but for us, we're really focused in on introducing ourselves to folks that don't know us and talking about our agenda and what's important to the county. And we'll let the politics take care of itself next year. You know, what are some of your biggest challenges, aside from your upcoming campaign, what challenges are you facing in 2019? Yeah, so right now uh, we got a couple big wins the last few weeks with our sales tax deal with the city, our village improvement program with our villages. The legislative church needs to take these up now, and I think they will in January. So that's important because it sets the, the funding formulas for the next 10 years. So then you know where your money is coming from, and you can budget properly. But we have severe infrastructure challenges. We're really looking forward to partnering with our uh, towns uh, and our villages in the city as well on ways we can modernize our infrastructure, uh, you know, and uh, look at potential some consolidation of our sewer uh, infrastructure with some of our towns as well. So that's a huge challenge. Uh, right now we're excited. Uh, we're just interviewing candidates for our economic development director. So we'll have a new economic development director in the next month. And that will help drive our economic development strategy. Uh, in the poverty. Poverty is a huge issue. Uh, there's no one answer to it. Uh, we've identified really four, five, six different areas that need to be focused on with education, with housing, with health, with transportation, with workforce, and early childhood development. And so we're going to come up with a poverty plan uh, and uh, you know, kind of a community plan to fight this initiative uh, together. What about this uh, in the coach room? <laughs> yeah. How'd this happen? Yeah, so, you know, we, uh, we're we looking to kind of beef up our communications team. The way we communicate internally in county government with our departments, the way we communicate with the public about what these departments are doing every day, and, uh, you know, so we put out, you know, a uh, application or uh, seeking applications and uh, this Nicocha guy showed up on there. So uh, he's got a good experience. We're excited about that. I don't know if you know this, but I was, I was in the meatball eating competition at Festa oh, Italiana. Yeah. Mark the coach was right beside me. And I, I think he ate like one and a half meatballs. And I was probably pushing eight at that point because they're pretty good size. It's all he ate was one and a half? That, that was his uh, I knew that before. I'm like, uh, you're sitting yeah. there, you're being so dainty. Chow yeah. down. Exactly. Yeah, if I knew that before, Dave, maybe you would have gotten hired. Ryan, big plans for Christmas? We're going to be home uh, with our family. I have three kids. I got 
at uh, 11, 9, and 2, so uh, very excited. By the way, the county uh, provided the Christmas tree to the city of Syracuse, the beautiful tree that's lit in Clinton Square. Nice tree, so thank you. Yeah, it's a great tree, and it looks great. All right, we wish you the best. Thanks, Merry David. Christmas. Thanks Merry so Christmas much for you, sir. We appreciate it. Uh, Onondaga County Executive, uh, Jake Kemp, is bringing a 570 WSYR.